The world can be a beautiful place at times. From the Grand Canyon to Niagara Falls and beyond, there's simply so much to see. But top of that list, of course, is the legendary Seven Wonders of the World. The question that everybody asks, if there were an eighth, what would it be? There are simply too many to choose from, but we've rounded up a few that we think may deserve serious consideration. These are 20 landmarks that deserve to be called the eighth wonder of the world. Number 20. Borobudur Temple Located in Indonesia, the Borobudur Temple is a Buddhist temple known as the world's largest Buddhist monument. Even though no one knows who built the temple or how it came to be, it is definitely one of the most complex creations in the world. That alone would put it high on a list of things that could be labeled as wonders of the world because, as the ancient people of our world have proven time and time again, we sometimes don't understand how they were able to make such intricate designs without the help of modern technologies. Some 1200 years ago, builders carted 2 million stones from local rivers and streams and fit them tightly together without the aid of mortar to create a 95-foot high step pyramid. That's another thing we've learned from ancient cultures. If they have a way to move stones from one place to another, they'll do it, and they'll do it in bulk. They clearly had a much greater work ethic than some in modern times. As noted, it is a temple, but it's not just that. It's meant to be a kind of religious experience for all those who come to it through a pilgrimage. For example, there are over 3,500 statues and sculptures there that are meant to help focus your mind on the holiness that exists around you. Furthermore, getting up to the top of the temple requires you to push your mind and body to new heights in order to complete your journey. And so, when you add the divine architecture of the place, along with the many mysteries that it holds inside, you can see why many would label this as a wonder and attempt to invite it into the ranks of others that currently hold that honor. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. Take a look at these gorgeous waterfalls, if you can call them that. Situated deep in the depths of Asia, it's definitely a place I feel deserves to be considered one of the eighth wonders of the world. Just looking at it, you can imagine the soothing sounds of all that rushing water. Looking at the place in person has to be a glorious sight to behold. It's enough to calm any soul, no matter how restless it may be. People travel from all around the world to catch a glimpse, and you can see why. Asia is a remarkable place in general, and with so much to offer tourists and travelers, who knows? Perhaps there will be more delights on the list. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag SweetTopic. Number 19. The Statue of Unity Given how the world is nowadays, it's fitting that we have a statue on this list that boasts the concept of unity, because you have to wonder at times if humanity is ever as unified as we should be. The statue in question is of India's first prime minister, and it's so tall that it's the tallest statue in the world. It definitely cost a lot to get that record, as it's said to have cost about $450 million. It would be constructed using 70,000 tons of cement, 25,000 tons of steel, and 12,000 bronze panels, each weighing over 1,700 tons. So you can tell that they put plenty of effort into making this statue, and they would certainly love for it to be the eighth wonder of the world in many people's eyes. Number 18. Humpback Covered Bridge You might not think that something so simple as a bridge could be called a potential eighth wonder of the world, but as in all things, it has to do with what kind of bridge it is. In this case, the Humpback Covered Bridge in Virginia in the United States has been given this honor because of its age and its design, and that's because its center is higher than its ends. Built in 1857, this is the oldest bridge standing in the state of Virginia. It's part of the National Registry of Historic Places and the Virginia Landmarks Register. While the bridge is in its original form, contractors have replaced the roof and several walls. So this is another case of respecting the history that came well before and remembering how things used to be. It's true, bridges have come a long way since then, but that doesn't mean that we need to tarnish what has taken place before. 
Number 17. Castillo de San Marcos Now here's a place that has a distinct look to it, and that's because of who created it. Spanish engineer Ignacio Daza built the Castillo de San Marcos in 1672, and today, it's known as the most significant and oldest masonry fort in the United States. The Spanish built the fort for the protection of European settlers, and it wasn't constructed out of stone, but from some ancient shells that created a rock over time. That alone makes it pretty impressive and something that you would not expect. In 1966, the fort became a national monument and received a place on the National Register of Historic Places list. So, you have a little bit of history, a great design, and a showcase of what came before. It's perfect for the wonder of the world material, I should say. Number 16. The Empire State Building Here's another building that you might look at and say, wait, that's something that people think is a wonder of the world? And while the Empire State Building has been surpassed by other constructions since its time in the spotlight, that doesn't mean that it wasn't something special and unique when it was first built. To put things into context for you, the Empire State Building was, at one time, the tallest building in the world for up to four decades. It had over 100 floors, 6,500 windows, dozens of elevators, and more. Yet, they were able to make it in just over a year. Think about being there at the time that it was first opened. You would likely have never seen something that big that you could just go inside of, and the view from the top must have been truly magical. The building is a key part of United States history and has been featured in numerous movies, most famously the original King Kong. Number 15. The Taj Mahal there are several monuments or landmarks in the world today that you might look at and say, oh, that's a wonder of the world, right? And yet they actually aren't. The Taj Mahal is one that is often mistaken as an original wonder, but just because it's not an official one doesn't mean it couldn't be the eighth in many people's minds. In fact, it already is on some people's lists. But it's not hard to see why. The Taj Mahal is an incredible structure that stands proudly in India even to this day. The building is rumored to have been the construction of a king who had grieved for his late wife. It took over two decades to complete the construction of the building, costing 32 million rupees, which is about 1 million in American money today. It's estimated that over 20,000 laborers worked on the project, showing just how much effort was put into it. But that also says nothing of all the different kinds of jewels that adorn the palace. While it should be noted that there is more modern controversy about the history of the Taj Mahal, who had built it, and who actually owns it, the construction of the place is not in question, and it is absolutely something to appreciate. Number 14. The Twelve Apostles Here's one that may not make sense at first, but will eventually. The group of limestone stacks near the Port Campbell National Park, west of Melbourne, make up the Twelve Apostles, a site that many people bill as being the eighth wonder of the world that's a result of the constant erosion by the wind and water of the Southern Ocean. So what makes these stacks so special? Well, they're believed to have been made over 10 million years ago and have lasted the test of time. That would be quite an achievement, wouldn't you say? However, if you go to the stacks, you're you're going to notice that there are actually only nine of them, and yet they're called the Twelve Apostles. Plus, those nine are slowly beginning to crumble away for the same reasons that they were formed, that being erosion. And so, if we are to make this a wonder of the world, we should probably do it quickly and before it's too late. Number 13. Leaning Tower of Pisa Next, we have arguably one of the greatest mistakes in human history. After all, the Leaning Tower of Pisa is, well, it leans. And say what you will about the people who came before us, but they typically knew how to make something so that it would be perfect the first time out and not crumble to the ground afterwards. However, in Italy, the Leaning Tower shows that sometimes even the best makes mistakes. So let's get into the burning question. Why exactly does it lean? The answer should be obvious. It goes to the foundation. The people who built it did not take into account how unstable the ground that they built it on was. And as a result, there is a 
four degree lean in the building. Since then, there have been supports attached to the building to make sure that it stays upright, and people honestly think that it's cooler because it leans and doesn't fall. So if anything, this potential wonder of the world is a great example of how humanity can make mistakes and then correct them so that we both fix them and never forget them. Number 12. Chichen Itza Chichen Itza is an archaeological site in Yucatan and one of the most visited locations in Mexico. It's one of the monuments that's been left behind by the ancient Maya and was at one time one of their most sacred places due to how people from all over the kingdom would come there as part of a pilgrimage. Fast forward to now and people are so in awe of this place that some have even labeled it to be one of the new seven wonders of the world, which is not confusing in the slightest. Anyways, the place does stand as a testament to the Maya and their way of building things, not to mention the history that lies within the place is invaluable as we still don't know everything about the Mayan culture. And so, you can see why so many are enthralled by such a place as this. Number 11. The Great Wall of China Before you overreact, we know the question that you're likely asking. Wait, wasn't the Great Wall of China already on the list of wonders of the world? Well, the answer is no. Just like the Taj Mahal, however, both have been placed on subsequent lists of what the wonders of the world are. It's easy to get them confused with the original seven wonders because of how grand they are, the Great Wall of China especially. This icon of China is one that has such a history that people will often blend it together with human interpretations of that history itself. For example, it's not one giant wall that goes from one place to the next. However, it's a series of walls that were made by various dynasties to help shore up protection from enemies like the Mongols. Still though, even with them not being connected, the Great Wall is so grand that you can actually see it from space. Plus, the effort that it took into making these long sections is worthy of praise, and given modern advancements, there'd be no reason to make such a wall today, so let's appreciate what they've done in the past. Number 10. Sigiriya Sigiriya is an ancient rock fortress that's located in northern Sri Lanka. This megalithic rock would be formed by a hard magma plate left behind by an extinct volcano. The local people consider it to be the eighth wonder of the world. Now do you see why I have to be clear about what is and is not a wonder of the world? Because everyone has their own list and their own things that are on it. Sigiriya has wowed numerous people because of how it's so high off the ground and thus can be seen for several miles. And and as many pictures will show you, if you were to go up to it, you'd have a view that few places can top. That's why it's the most visited historical site in all of Sri Lanka, and it's not hard to see why. Number 9. The Amber Room now, I have to put a caveat with this next entry for one very important reason. The original Amber Room of Russia does not exist anymore. The Amber Room was a chamber decorated in amber panels backed with gold leaf and mirrors located in a palace in Russia. And to say that it was visually striking as a room and one that was worth a ton of money is an understatement. So what actually happened to it? Well, World War II happened. When Germany invaded Russia, they were able to reach St. Petersburg and loot the Amber room, taking it back to the fatherland to be built up there. Then, when American forces threatened the regime, they took it apart once again, and that's when it vanished. Fast forward to 1979, and pictures of the original Amber Room were used to begin a reconstruction project that would eventually be completed in 2003. Obviously, it's not the same as the original Amber Room, but it is a way to honor what had come before. One can only imagine the value of the room if it were rediscovered, or if it somehow was a able to survive to the modern day. Number 8. The Panama Canal if not proven already by this list, some of the reasons that some of the landmarks mentioned here are worthy of being called wonders of the world is because they were proof of man's determination to make something incredible and to sometimes defy nature to get things done that could benefit everyone. As such, it's not hard to see why many people would love to put the Panama Canal on the wonders of the world list. It's hard to picture now with all of the ways that we can travel at fast speeds, but back in the 1800s, if you wanted 
wanted to get from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific, you just had two ways of doing it, the long way to the left or the long way to the right. For example, if you were a ship that was trying to get from England to, say, California, your best path was to go all the way across the Atlantic, go around South America, and then up to California. That trip would take an incredibly long time, and there's no guarantee that you would even make the journey. Enter President Theodore Roosevelt. While he was not technically the first man to think of an idea for a canal in Panama, he was the guy who made it happen. It was one of the greatest achievements of his life, even helping to ensure the canal was done after he was done with his presidency. Eleven years after the work had started, it was finally completed, and it was a technological marvel. Now ships could enter the canal and be in and out of it in no time flat and on their way to the other side of the world. Fast forward to recent times and the canal sees 15,000 ships sail through it over a hundred years after it was completed, showing that this wonder is still in use and it'll be that way for quite some time. Number 7. The Terracotta Army Allow me to take you to the tomb of China's first emperor. He's an important figure in history because he was the one who had unified the various factions of China to become the nation that we now know that it is. As such, his tomb is sacred, and yet it was actually swallowed up by the earth until being rediscovered by accident many centuries later. As they carefully unearthed the site, the Terracotta Army came into light, and they are a sight to behold. There are thousands of horses, soldiers, and chariots that are part of the emperor's tomb tomb, and all of them are life-size and were made by a large number of artists. About 800 soldiers are said to be buried at the grave. You might think that it would take an incredibly long time to make these statues, and you would be right, as each of them is unique. The reason for this monument was because the Chinese wanted their emperor to have warriors to command in the afterlife should he need them. And that's not unlike many other cultures that put items into tombs so that they can have treasures in the life beyond. The reason for wanting the terracotta army to be the eighth wonder of the world is obvious. Think of how much effort it takes to make this, and the people did it for one man. That's a lot of love and respect for a fallen leader that they would want to honor him like this. The irony is that the tomb is still sealed, despite this army being exposed, and the reason for this, that it's unknown how the tomb would react to air exposure after such a long time of being sealed. It's also a matter of pride and respect, and only the Chinese government can give the order to be able to go in. You could also argue that the army probably wouldn't be happy with it either. Number 6. The Grand Canyon we're going to cheat a little bit here for a very fair reason. While humanity has done some incredible things over the years, nature still has the edge when it comes to creating things that will make you say wow. The Grand Canyon in Arizona is the result of water and other natural factors carving out a canyon that is so large that it's bigger than the state of Rhode Island. More specifically, the Grand Canyon is a mile deep, 277 miles long, and 18 miles wide. While the park doesn't include the entire canyon, it does does measure in at a whopping 1,904 square miles in total. One of the ironies of this beloved landmark and tourist attraction is that the United States almost tried to build things on it. It was part of the expansion into the West, and many saw great potential within. But another man saw a different kind of potential, Teddy Roosevelt. That's right, it did not take long to bring him back. Roosevelt was a legendary outdoorsman, and he saw the wonders of this place in 1903, and then used his power as president to make it into a game preserve. And then once the Antiquities Act passed, he turned it into a national landmark alongside some of its surrounding areas. And could you imagine what would have happened had he not done that? What would we have lost in the process of trying to expand for the greater good? We would have lost a place that's so wondrous and means so much to so many. And that's part of the reason why Roosevelt is on Mount Rushmore, because he fought for the preservation of natural parts of the United States. Number 5. Niagara Falls how many of you have ever been to Niagara Falls? How many of you have been tempted to get in a barrel and go over those Niagara Falls? Whether you see the falls in the United States or Canada, it's not hard to be amazed by the aquatic beauty of these falls. After all, they're one of the classic tourist destinations in the northeast of the United States, and it's a testament to how nature never stops working. By that, I mean that water flows within the falls and never stops, even when the temperature is below zero. The mist that it creates can develop ice 
ice all over the place, but the water will never stop. That being said, there were two times when that did happen, but it would be caused by extraordinary circumstances, which included a massive ice jam causing the flow to stop for a few hours, and some people trying to stop it on their own for their own purposes. Obviously, neither of those helped. Due to the wonder and danger that fills people when they visit the place, they can't help but want to try and conquer it, and if you do so, you do at your own risk. People have lost their lives trying to cross the falls in one form or another, but if you look at the natural beauty of the place, you can't help but call it a wonder, and many will for as long as it keeps on flowing. Number 4. Pink and White Terraces the Pink Terrace, which is known as the Foundation of the Clouded Sky, and the White Terrace is known as the Tattooed Rock. They're natural wonders in New Zealand that are believed to be over 7,000 years old. Here's where things get a bit tricky, though, because while the terraces were something, there was an eruption in 1886 that apparently buried and destroyed them. However, by 2011, parts of the Pink Terrace were said to have been found, but many refute that claim because of the destructiveness of the volcano. And so, whether it was actually actually the terraces or not, is still heavily debated today. Number 3. The Palm Islands of Dubai if you were to go to Dubai and talk to people in charge, they would likely tell you that they have some of the greatest wonders of the world, despite them not being that old. After all, Dubai has gone through an architectural revolution of sorts because they're trying to bring in more and more tourists to their homeland and not simply be a place that's known for oil. One of the things that they made were the Palm Islands of Dubai, and as the pictures show, they were designed to be a set of islands shaped like a palm tree, and when you go there, there are almost literally tons of things to do. It would take a rather long stay to do everything, which ensures that you'll come back time and again, and that was perhaps the plan all along. Number 2. Monasterio de San Lorenzo de El Escorial Believe it or not, I've only had a few places on this list that are dedicated to royalty. So allow me to change that via this place, which I will shortly call El Escorial. That's the home of the King of Spain. El Escorial is also a library, university, museum, royal palace, basilica, hospital, monastery, and pantheon. So yeah, there are a lot of things going on. The building was ordered and built by King Philip II to remember a battle that Spain once had. Twenty years later, it would be completely and the results spoke for themselves. It is a towering and beautiful structure that endures to this day, and you can bet that the people of Spain would have put this on their list of wonders of the world. Number 1. Moai Statues you could argue that the Moai statues are already a wonder of the world, simply because of how much they've impacted the culture of the world on a large and small scale, and how much that we talk about them here on the channel. These statues were made by the mysterious Rapa Nui, who had carved nearly 900 of them by hand and chisel, and then scattered them all across the island. Oh, and they're not exactly small either. The smallest one is about 5 feet, and the biggest ones are around 33 feet. That is insane on numerous levels, and just goes to show show just how much these people really wanted to make the statues. Nearly all of the statues have overly large heads, strong chins, and broad noses, and most people recognize the Moai statues because of their faces. As noted, they have had a huge impact on our world, which includes being referenced in various shows and movies, and multiple theories being put out through those shows about why they were made in the first place. The irony is that we now know the answer to that. Every statue on the island is placed near a source of water. So, if you found a statue, you could get water if you needed it, and you knew where to look. That's all from the realm of landmarks that stand so far above the others that they deserve to be called wonders of the world. Which of these landmarks, if any, do you agree should be hailed as the eighth wonder of the world? And what ones do you feel could be left off of the list for one reason or another? Perhaps there's another landmark that should be on our list. And of course, we all know that Andre the Giant was the actual eighth wonder of the world, now don't we? Let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Be sure to check out all the other cool things that are showing up on the screen and I'll see you next time.